Good morning, Celia Wade Brown. How are you? Thank you for uh, inviting us uh, in your office and doing this interview. Uh, I will start uh, the question with, can you describe your city in uh, one phrase, please? I like to think of Wellington as the place of the possible. Anybody can do anything in this wonderful little capital city. Can you also explain to us your career in few dates? Uh, how did you become the third uh, female mayor of Wellington? Thank you. Um, first of all, it's interesting, I wasn't born in this country. Um, I was born in London and came over here. And so it's a mark of a country being accepting of people um, if you can be born in one place and still be mayor. Um, there are much more famous examples of that, um, like the mayor of Rotterdam, but um, I think it's a great mark for a country. I first got interested in politics, um, oh, all sorts of campaigns like the Greenham Common against the nuclear weapons, um, but I never really thought about standing myself for politics until I was asked. And the more women politicians I meet, they tend to wait until somebody says, you should stand, or why don't you stand? So um, I've always tried to encourage other women to stand. Uh, back in 1992, um, I stood and I wasn't successful. I think that's really important. You might not get elected the first time. You shouldn't give up. Um, and then in April 1994, I was elected um, to the City Council. I actually had to fight quite hard to even get nominated by the group I was with at the time uh, because by the time I was elected I had a seven month old baby and a two year old and I think the group which was again in politics like transport and computing, um, a certain amount of domination by the men, they thought, but she's pregnant, how can she campaign? Well, women can do anything, and um, it, was, it was not a totally full-time job, which would have been more difficult in those days. But um, So I got elected, and um, I really enjoyed working with people in local government. Another date was in October 2010, when I was elected as mayor. I decided that after nine years continuous service as a councillor, I saw things slightly differently in terms of transport in particular, but also the natural environment from the existing mayor, and I ran against an incumbent, and on election night um, she was ahead by 40 votes, but when they counted up the special votes you know, for people who are away or who have moved or who have only just registered, I won by, I think it was um, 167 votes, something like that. So it was very close and my base for election was very much the wider community, not the people at the top of their businesses or the top of their organisations, but by going out and talking to women and men in a whole range of ethnic communities. We've got more than 80 different ethnicities in Wellington and they are not reached by the ordinary newspaper or by public meetings. You actually have to go out to the Nauru's celebrations for the um, Iranian community, for example.